Hey friends, welcome to Essentially Jessie. We are talking about my top five Chanel fragrances and I will rank them. I'm gonna talk about each one a little bit, so let's get to it. So glad you guys are here. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with new fragrance and some essential oil content. So if those are things that you are into, please hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell to be notified of future videos, reviews. I think I'm about to do a sample giveaway. So anyway, let's get to it. The first Chanel fragrance that I wanna talk about, maybe I'll do these in the order that I purchased them. Okay, the first Chanel fragrance I wanna talk about is, Gabriel by Chanel or Gabrielle not sure <laughs> um probably Gabrielle anyway this fragrance was my first little fragrance purchase from Chanel it's so cute this is so classic no this is so classy yes and um let me get the atomizer where I don't spray my face this is a like I'm going on a dinner or interview like some kind of interview situation this is I'm going to meet the parents for the first time this is very like classy beautiful a little bit sweet like this doesn't have the classic I don't think Chanel DNA that some of the other fragrances have I love this fragrance I honestly don't wear it very much I do wear it to church sometimes weddings um, like special occasions like that because I am really savoring this fragrance I really enjoy it. Um, it doesn't get enough love in my fragrance collection because it's not gourmand. It is sweet. It's like, let me spray it again. It's like, a, I don't know. I might smell a little bit of honeysuckle in there and some fruits. It's a very beautiful fragrance. If your mom or your grandmother are having a birthday, please buy them this fragrance. Everybody loves getting a Chanel anything and this is extremely crowd pleasing. So this is Gabrielle by Chanel. Let's see, the next one I purchased was Chanel Chance Au Tendre. I could not wait to buy this. Um, my mom has this fragrance, so it spans lots of age ranges. I feel like this is probably the most youthful of all of the Chanel's. If you have a favorite Chanel, please drop that in the comments below. I would love to know if there's some more that I need to check out. This is the Au Tendre, this one in the pink bottle. Um, and it's just, it's gorgeous to look at. It's beautiful to smell. It's very like floral. It's very floral. It's very pink and sweet. I mean, I just get like the packaging is beautiful and I think it really speaks volumes about how the fragrance smells. Safe Blind Buy, yes. Can you wear this anytime, anywhere, all the time? Yes, this is signature scent worthy. This is a beautiful, beautiful blind buyable fragrance, I think, in my opinion. Um, let me know if there are any other Chanel fragrances that you think are blind buy worthy. So Chanel Chance Au Tendre is deliciously divine, except it's not a gourmand, but it just is. It's so, I don't know, youthful, cheerful, playful. It's pro, it's just, oh, it's so good. Okay, can't wait to rank these for you guys. Next, I bought Coco Mademoiselle, the intense version and the original in the same purchase. I bought these during one of Sephora's VIB sales where I got 20% off because who doesn't love getting 20% off? I already have my cart like locked and loaded for the next VIB sale, which I think will be in early to mid November. So first off, this is Coco Mademoiselle, the original. I got a smaller bottle of the original and then a larger bottle of the Intense. They were out of the smaller bottles of the Intense, so I got what I got. Um, <laughs> just happened that way. Coco Mademoiselle is iconic. Like when I walk by someone wearing this, I immediately know what it is. Um, it's probably a little bit over-purchased at this point, but if you want something like stout, a little bold, robust, very sultry, very memorable. This lasts forever and ever and ever. And the intense version lasts even longer. <laughs> so if you smell them both, they're both worth smelling. I do have a battle video between the original and the intense that I can link below for you guys to check out, listen to the notes, figure out which one is your more your style. But Coco Mademoiselle is just, it's just gorgeous. 
Like there's nothing, it's just, these are gonna be hard to rank. Like now that I'm re-smelling them, I'm like, mm, I don't know if my original top five will be in the same order. Um, then we move on to the intense version. So that one is really kind of floral sweet. This one is more, just has more depth to it. Like that patchouli is really prominent. If you don't like patchouli, don't stray away from this fragrance. Go try it out, spray both of these on your hand or arms or something. Walk around the mall for 30 minutes and then come back and figure out which one you like best. I always say spray and then wait and then buy. Don't spray and buy because what a fragrance smells like in the opening is not necessarily what it's going to smell like 30 minutes from then. And it's certainly not what it's gonna smell like four hours from then. Um, this is a beautiful fragrance. It is even bolder. It is even more robust. It is even more, it's just a deeper, richer fragrance. While the original already is a great fragrance, this one is more bold. You could totally layer these together or you can wear them separately if you wanted to get both of them. I would wear this one for daytime and this one for nighttime just because it is more bold and robust. Uh, I tend to wear this spring summer. I mean I wear it year round but I wear this more spring summer whereas I kind of hold off on this till fall winter because it is so deep and robust and just so such a like bang but it's not I don't know it's not like a shrill bang I'm, I'm not really sure how to say that it's just you can fill the room up if you want to and it smells fantastic so that's Coco Mademoiselle the original and Coco Mademoiselle intense my last Coco purchase okay I did co purchase Coco Noir because I heard so many people talking about it and I blind bought it and I ended up taking it back I just couldn't it just wasn't vibing with me. Um, the, so the most recent purchase I have is the Coco Eau de Parfum. It's kind of more golden juice, whereas the Mademoiselles are more like a ambery color or pinky color, peachy color. This one is, does definitely, I think have the Chanel, like, what am I trying to say here? The vintage vibe. Um, if you want something very original, if you're buying, oh, it's so pretty. Um, if you're buying a Chanel for your grandmother, you might check this one out because it is, it does have something that like is just very vintage to me and it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I, when I first got this, I was like, oh, I don't know. I, you can see I haven't used very much of it because when I'm reaching for a Chanel, I mostly reach for, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> but this one is a really nice classic fragrance that I think everybody who loves Chanel should have in their collection just so, I don't know, they can smell it. Like this would be an office fragrance. You can definitely wear this on dates. You can wear this to church. It might be a little robust for like indoor or close encounter settings like church with a lot of people. But anyway, Chanel Coco, the Eau de Parfum is beautiful. All right, so numbering them, giving them a label. This is hard. I moved a couple of them around. Okay, but I'm sticking with what I have. Number five in my collection. I do love these all. I will say that if I didn't love them, I wouldn't keep them. Okay, Coco Eau de Parfum, the one that I just described most recently. It's a beautiful fragrance, but probably one that I reach for less than some of the others. So number five, Coco. Number four is the original Mademoiselle. Now while, Coco Mademoiselle. Now while I really do love this fragrance, I really reach for these others more. But do I not reach for this? No, I reach for it all summer. Um, it probably has the biggest dent in it, honestly, from all of them. But this is a gorgeous fragrance. This is Coco Mademoiselle, the original, coming in at number four. Um, coming in at number three is Gabrielle beautiful fragrance i think i just reserve this too much for like like i said weddings and events and things like that gabrielle is a beautiful fragrance coming in at number three so so good so good okay coming in at number two is probably one i don't know out of all of these probably most blind buy worthy and that is Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. Yes, it's the one in the pink bottle. Love it, love it, love it. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, all the things. So coming in at number one is Coco Mademoiselle Intense. I just, oof, I have waited all year to wear this fragrance again. And now that it is becoming fall and getting cooler, 
I'm going to be wearing it. So I'm pumped to be wearing Coco Mademoiselle, the intense version. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, drop me a like if you like Chanel fragrances, drop me a comment if you want to see some other fragrance houses reviewed and ranked. Smell you later.